Hey guys, happy new year's to you. It's coming up here. I know we're still in Florida visiting friends and uh, I just wanted to make a mention about how good Jesus is. And I wanted to say that the price that Jesus paid for us to come into relationship with him was incredible. Not just what was uh, suffered and felt and propitiated uh, on Calvary, but also the decision from eternity that God had made to actually take the man Christ Jesus, 95 times in the New Testament, he's referred to the Son of Man, but he's also the Son of God. So we understand through what's called, not to get theological, but the hypostatic union that Christ is 100% God and he's 100% man. And uh, the amazing thing is, is that he still has that man element, that humanity, let me call it that. And so the Son of God who has ascended up on high, because I am a Trinitarian, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Son who has ascended and is going to return actually in his physical form again, is uh, seated at the right hand of the Father. He ever lives to make intercession for us. But he has brought in with him the humanity and this, of course, was necessary because he's our great high priest who can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. So he understands he's been here, he's walked in the flesh, not necessarily as kenosis, but as incarnate, incarnation. All the powers of God were resident in him, but he volitionally, by his own will, chose. And by the way, God has a free will because there's nobody to override him. So he became flesh, but it was an eternal decision because let me tell you that after the gospel, the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, he still in his body bears the scars in his hands and the wound in his side. He showed them to Thomas. This is an eternal, this is enshrined eternally in the body of God the Son. It will never go away. It will never be redone. It can never be undone. It's there permanently as a, um, well, just as, as who Jesus is and what he did to redeem us. And so this is an eternal sign that ever before the beginning, and I say the beginning because God had no beginning, but Jesus preexistent with the Father and the Spirit, they decided that this was going to happen and that he was going to bear in his body. He was going to take in his physical corporate body, which really didn't exist before, but it does now uh, because he was born of an actual human virgin person made out of flesh and blood. And uh, But this isn't now at his eternal state. As I said, it will never be undone. That was a tremendous price. Uh, I, I don't know, called adoption modification. God had planned it out before, so it wasn't a surprise. But to the Godhead in whom Christ dwells, all the Godhead uh, bodily, it dwells in him. So um, it's just, uh, just think about what Jesus did for us. It is unbelievable that now, or soon to be as John saw when this heaven and earth are passed away, that there's a new one coming. Um, new Jerusalem comes down from God as a bride adorned for her groom. And it says, behold, the habitation of God is with men. It's God's choice. He chose to eternally habitate or live with us. Wow. I, I, I still can't grab it. But anyway, God bless you. Just uh, thoughts for the day or for the year or whatever. Chew on it. But um, we will be uh, back in the saddle, headed back to South America soon, here when we can. And we are uh, feverishly working on the Bible translations to get them done for the people that don't have the word yet. Keep us in prayer. Thank you for everything that you do for us. God bless you guys. We love you.